Well, the referee said it best. Winner goes to the, the Professional PFL. Fighters League. <laughs> a spot Let's on go. the Season 3 roster on the line. Mikhail Odinsov in the black shorts. Timur Nagibin, the local, in the white and black. Let's see if Odinsov can find a way to level change and make those transitions and show more of that wrestling that he showed in his first fight. Odinsov once again comes out as a southpaw this time. We see Nagi bin switching back and forth. Same thing we saw from him in his first fight. There's a shot attempt there, stuffed by Nagi bin. Odinsov does enough to grab him and push him back to the cage, but this is one of the things that we heard about Timur Nagi bin. Incredibly physically strong in that compact frame. He's able to turn Odinsov off the cage. This might become a little bit of a chess match here, Randy. Absolutely. Both guys strong. Nagi Bin short levers and uses them very, very well. That's a tough guy to get out of position and, and to take advantage of. Top time. Little cup check there. Nagi Bin with the knee inside. Lance. We'll see a replay here. The right knee comes up. And you heard it. <laughs> yeah. Take the time. I think everybody in the arena heard that one. Michael Wachter is our ref, German referee in a Russian fight organization for an international professional fighters league contract. It's perfect. You sure? You sure? Okay. Odinsov ready to go after short Watch delay here. Go. Let's go. Another touch of the gloves. Odinsov in the black trunks, Nagi Bin in the white and black. Southpaw versus Orthodox for now. Kick attempt there from Nagi Bin. Jab misses for Odinsov. Another takedown attempt stuffed once again, Randy, but the left hand landed and another flurry and a shot. Wow, he's mixing it up nicely. Absolutely, very, very nice. Comes right up off the level change, getting the takedown stuffed to let his hands go in that transition. And that is a rare thing. A lot of guys do not do that. This is the final for the International Qualifier Series. A little mini bracket, which means we are in a three five-minute round format. Both of these men won three round, three-minute bouts, uh, three three-minute round bouts earlier tonight. Another combination here from Odinsov. Big Not combination by alive. Odinsov. He's, he's, he's a tenacious competitor. You can tell once he lets him go, he really wants to find a way to finish his opponent. A lot of hand speed on display, and then he goes right back to the takedown attempt. He's able to work Nagi Bin down to the ground. Nagi Bin almost surrendering that takedown because he reached over and he's trying to isolate the arm in a Kimura here. <laughs> Nagi Bin looking to wall walk up that fence post and find a way to get back to his feet here. Trying to gain elevation, using that barrier to do it. Odinsov having none of it. I'm going to try and push him right back down to the bottom of the fence and trap him. Now Odinsov with the elevation, looking to ground and pound. Standing up, nice straight right hand from the top. Nagibin tries to find an, an opening there. Odinsov jumps right back down into a control position. Odinsov doing a nice job of controlling that right leg of Shabinov. Not Shabinov, Nagibin. <laughs> Uh, to, to keep him on the ground. We saw this in his first bout against Shabon. Oh! <laughs> Knee lands right on the lower uh, back of yeah, Timur Nagy been there. Okay, give him. And we saw Odinov throw these types of punches when he had that blanket ride position in his first fight tonight, but that one errantly landed right on the spine. You see him working the, the thigh and the buttocks of previous opponents in his fights. This one from Mikhail Odinsov. Landed right on the uh, right on the tailbone, lower back almost. Nagi been in a little bit of distress here. We'll take the time allotted from an illegal blow. Yeah, he turtled, but it's illegal, but illegal, but accident. Yeah. That accident. 
absolutely an accidental blow. He had no intention of hitting him in the spine. Sometimes guys are moving underneath you. Sometimes you see shots to the back of the head the same way, which is also an illegal blow. But a guy moves his head just as you throw that punch, loses his body just as he throws that knee, and it lands right in the spine. Wow, direct center there. Sure. sure. Great job by the camera. <laughs> Referee making sure that Timur Nagibin is good to go. But take care, okay? A warning issue to Mikhail Odinsov. Good sportsmanship by Odinsov. A lot on the line for both of these men, but they want to win it fair and square. That spot in the Professional Fighters League, I can speak from experience. It's a life-changing opportunity. Both of these guys want to get it done the right way. Back to action here. Big right overhand. And Odinsov misses a big left hook. Approaching one minute remaining here in the first of three in our ICE IQS final. Nagibin's not the most dynamic mover athletically anyway, and he's a little stiffer now than he was from that, that shot to the back. Nice inside trip by Odinov. Odinov is, I, I'm really impressed with his, with his ability to string together strikes with takedown attempts and vice versa. Those transitions are really, really pretty, and that's not an easy thing to do. A lot of people struggle to do the, exactly what he's done. Odinsov pressuring Nagibin against the cage here. A wincing on the face there of Nagibin, maybe still a little bit sore on that lower back where the knee landed. Last 20 seconds of the round. Ground and pound from the top position by Odinsov. Nice left hand from the top sneaks in. Referee wor worried about the Defense there of Nagibin encouraging him to fight back, which is usually an indication that a stoppage is coming. But Odinsov falls back down into the guard as the round closes out here. Five. One round down, two to go in the final of the International Qualifier Series here in Ekaterinburg, Russia. And you see Timur Nagibin standing up gingerly, Randy. Absolutely. That, that lower back is locked up from the errant shot to the spine. It's not moving at full capacity, at least not yet. Another impressive round there by Mikhail Odinsov as we take a look inside of his corner, displaying the well-rounded skill set that we were told he came in here with, the transitions, the transitions between striking and takedowns and back. That's impressive. Fantastic, he's done a great job of melding his boxing, letting his hands go right into his wrestling transitions. And it goes both ways. Take a look at the replays here. The first takedown is stuffed, but it's not a loss for him. He gets right back to the striking. That's that both ways. He comes right back up in that pause and lets his hands go. There's knees and inside combination, seven punches straight to the head of Nagibin. Here's some grounded pound. He's controlling those feet very, very well, giving that elevation. There's a knee to the thigh. You see the adjustment by Nagibin, which ultimately led to the errant shot to the spine that's still bothering Nagibin at this point. And there's a look at the inadvertent illegal blow right to the spine of Nagibin who's trying to fight through it with so much on the line, a spot in the Professional Fighters League roster. A little worse for the wear at this point with one round down. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Odinsov in the black trunks, Nagi Bin in the white and black. Southpaw stance once again to open things up for Odinsov. Nagi Bin moving a little bit more quickly here, not so straight-legged, so maybe they were able to loosen that lower back up a little bit between rounds, Randy. Did you have to see Nagi Bin just let his hands go and show real boxing combinations for a guy with a boxing background? The guy with the wrestling background is throwing five, six, seven punch combinations. It's pretty amazing. Well, as you know, against a wrestler, sometimes as a striker, you have to be careful letting your hands go because you feel like you're going to open things up, which allows the, the wrestler to be more comfortable in the striking exchanges. That's what we're seeing so far tonight. There's a big hook attempt from Nagi Bin, who comes in with the knockout-laden resume. 
Switching stances, thinks better of it. Big left hand from Odinson. Spinning back fist attempt there from Nagibin. Blocked by Odinsov, and now it's Nagibin initiating a takedown attempt, stuffed by Mikhail Odinsov. Hanging in the over under, Odinsov. Mikhail with his, Nagibin with his, his uh, back to the fence. Nice head position battle here. And Nagibin is able to flip things around. Cup check. Odinsoff brought that knee up in the inside, trying to hit Nagibin in the, in the stomach and, and ended up catching him in the cup. It's the second errant knee in the fight here for Odinsov, so we'll see how Michael Vachter takes a point away from Odinsov. Now it's it's the first groin shot of the fight for Odinsov, but it is the second it. errant okay. knee, so. Gave him a warning the first time he, th he threw the illegal blow. This time he's going to take a point for the illegal blow. Good. No, come here. Easy. Okay. I don't want to decide this, decide this with minus points, okay? You fight for the country. Keep it clean. Okay? Right. Referee says he doesn't want to decide it. That's a great stance for a referee to have. Mikhail Odinsov now has to think about the fact that he lost a point in this round in the black trunks. This time Nagibin is able to secure the takedown. He steps right into the guard of Odinsov and we'll see how he works off his back for the first time tonight. Odinsov using an open guard. He's got one butterfly hook in on the left. He's keeping that right leg on. But at least it's not a closed guard. He's not locking himself into a beating by Nagibin. Nagibin's got his hands on the mat, which is dangerous against a submission specialist. Nice job by Odinsov to get his feet and legs into the fight, create some space, and create a, scam a scramble. Good enough to get him back to his feet, and now he switches position and presses Nagibin up against the cage. More knees to the thigh from Mikhail Odinsov. Odinsov representing Belarus on RCC tonight in the Professional Fighters League International Qualifier Series. Nagibin with his back to the cage is actually a local to Ekaterinburg, Russia, where these fights take place. Well, Randy, this isn't always the most fan-friendly style of fighting, but it is as <laughs> grueling as it comes. Absolutely grueling. It's, it, there's no place to rest or even catch your breath. It's one of the reasons why I like this style as much as I do. Nice level change by Odinsov. In deep on, Mick, <clears throat> on Nagis, Nagibin's legs. Nagibin trying to find a way to pummel and pull him back up chest to chest. Timur Nagibin has had more success in defending the takedowns of Mikhail Odinsov than his semifinal opponent, Shabanov, did. But still, we have seen some impressive grappling display displays from Odinsov. If this one does go to the judges' scorecards, though, he's got to be concerned with what happened earlier in this round. A second air knee in the fight. Inside trip for another takedown here. Nice wrestling setup and transition by Odinsov to set up that inside trip. Trying to find a way to clear his head now and, and land some significant blows from the ground and pound position. As I was saying, Randy, because of the point deduction earlier in this round, even if you win round number two as Mikhail Odinsov, it's probably a 9-9 round. Fair chance. And as close as this has been, it's going to be a 9-9 round, which means he's going to have to really go to work in that third round to make up the difference and secure the victory. Nice pressure from the top. Big right hand and a left come down from Mikhail Odinsov. Nagibin, to his credit, minimizing a lot of the damage from the top here. Up kick attempt. Round two down. 
So if the judges thought that Mikhail Odinsov won that round, it's probably one round to a draw round, which means this fight is up in the air in round number three. Absolutely going to boil down to this third round and who comes out and establishes their will. There's that inside trip you love, Randy. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Perfectly executed. Overhand left attempt there from Mikhail Odinsov. Glances off the defense of Nagy Ben, who secured a takedown himself in this round. And he stepped right into the guard after that. Wasn't able to get a lot of significant work done because of what you see there with Odinsov isolating his hands. And Odinsov doing a nice job using his feet, getting his feet into the fight to create the scramble to get back up. As we take a listen inside Timur Nagibin's corner, they are telling him to wrestle. Calling for Timur Nagibin, the knockout artist, to wrestle Mikhail Odinsov. Easier said than done from what we've seen, Randy. Absolutely easier said than done, but the one thing he did positively in that second round was he secured a takedown, and I think that scored him some points. Now, obviously, with the point deduction, that's going to be an issue in that round right. anyway, but he managed to take down the wrestler. Mikhail Odinsov in the black trunks. The local favorite, Timur Nagibin in the white and black. Shovel uppercut attempt there from Nagibin, who comes out as the aggressor here in round number three. A PFL contract on the line. The winner of this International Qualifier Series event will be part of our men's lightweight season three roster. Big right hand and a left from Nagibin. Mikhail Odinsov is able to grab a hold of him and push him back against the cage, a place where he has found some success tonight. Odinsov with double overhooks, and there's another cup check. Another cup check. And that's actually the second one for Nagibin. Odinsov received a cup check in the semifinal bout, now one here in the final. Yeah, I heard it. Nagibin received an illegal blow already yeah. twice in the fight, which means Odinsov in round number two had a point taken away. Odinsov got a cup check in the first round in this fight. They are making the referee earn his pay tonight. <laughs> okay, guys, now you finish the low blows, okay? <laughs> Michael Vachter is done with the low blows. Four minutes left in this final round. Takedown attempt here. Smothers the knee of Nagibin. Tenacious with the takedown. Odinsov is able to drag Nagibin down. Immediate switch attempt here from Timur Nagibin, Randy. Nice follow through by Odinsov. The second and third effort to get that takedown. And even now, Nagibin's not going to give it up. He's not going to concede it. He's not going to lay on his back. He's going to try and find a way to fight back to his feet. Nagibin's got one arm under the thigh of Odinsov and a leg over the thigh of Odinsov, fighting against himself a little bit there. And Odinsov is able to secure this takedown and settle into half guard with Nagibin pressed up against the cage. Three minutes remain. Peppering punches from the top. Mikhail Odinsov in the black trunks. In his semifinal bout, Randy, we saw him in the third round after securing a takedown. Posture up and really try and work for a finish. There's a lot on the line right now, and he probably feels like even with the point deduction, he's up in this bout. Do you think he'll just settle in here and try and ride it out for a victory? I think he's absolutely winning the fight from this, from the, and that... Big score, that takedown, and now controlling and dominating what this fight is. Nagi Bin's got to do a better job of creating scrambles and find a way to get back up and, and get his legs back in this fight. Odin Sop is just doing a great job of staying on that bottom leg, that Turk, and sitting on it and making Nagi Bin's life miserable here. Quick little neck crank attempt there from Odinsov on top. One thing that's very impressive about him, he's attacking in every position, on the ground, standing up, He's looking for every single opportunity, and that's part of the reason why he was scouted out 
as somebody to be in this International Qualifier Series event. I'm very impressed with his transition skills and how he fills those little gaps in between those transitions with, with quality striking. Nagy trying to use the fence, create that scramble. Again, get his legs back into this fight. He's rewarded with a close guard here and he'll have to go right back to work inside of 90 seconds in this third and final round. Mikhail Odinsov, the Belarusian on top in the black trunks. Timur Nagybin, the local favorite on the bottom, right now wearing a little bit of punishment. Nice left hand from the top there for Odinsov. There's the scramble. You see Nagybin getting his feet back in, creating some space, pushing Odinsov's hips off so he can get to corner position and try and find a way up. Odinsov goes right to work, works to the back and goes right to work with his knee on the thigh. Nagibin almost shrugging in frustration. These aren't damaging blows, but the control here, he's not able to score any offense. He's not able to get out of here. Approaching 30 seconds left here in this, in this bout. Odinsov well in control, tight waist. Superior control and wrestling position shown by Odinsov in, in all both of his fights this evening. He is not shy about using those knees up against the cage yeah. either. Nice left knee to the ribs there. Closing in on the end of the round. Mikhail Odinsov thinks he's done enough. That's six rounds tonight. Three three-minute rounds, three five-minute rounds for both Mikhail Odinsov and Timur Nagybin. Unless we get a big surprise here, Randy, it would appear that Mikhail Odinsov will be joining the Professional Fighters League roster as a men's 155-pounder. The dancer dancing his way right into the PFL and a shot at this year's lightweight men's title. He came into tonight riding a five-fight win streak, winning nine of his last ten. He's fought all over the region, Eastern Europe, Russia, RCC, ACA M1 Challenge, NFG, WWFC. Once again, RCC tonight, big takedown here, and that was that third effort that you talked about. Absolutely. Beautiful second, third, and fourth attempt to, to just continue to drive through and make that takedown happen. Ground and pound, sitting in the half guard, sitting on that bottom leg, doing his best, and here's the driving knees to the thigh and butt of Nagibin. And the winner by unanimous decision, Mikhail Atinsov. And Randy, that makes it official. Mikhail Odinsov carries a seven-fight win streak into PFL Season 3. And Minsk, Belarus will be represented, and he's going to need all of that experience. Ray Sefo welcomes the Belarusian. I want to welcome Mikhail to the PFL Season 2020. Congratulations.